Until you've seen a coal-fired power plant with your own eyes, you don't know the impact it really has on our rivers. I want to show others who don't have the opportunity to see one for themselves so that they may understand how these monuments of fossil fuel consumption interact with our waterways. This is huge, and every one of us is complicit in this pollution. This is how we get 40% of our power. Dirty, dirty coal. There are two coal-fired power plants in the Coosa Valley of Alabama. In Wilsonville, Alabama, at the confluence of the Coosa River and Yellowleaf Creek, stands the Ernest C. Gaston coal-fired power plant. Though it is only Alabama Power's third largest fossil fuel plant in the state, it is arguably the dirtiest. The plant recently ranked second in the nation in levels of toxic arsenic and chromium being stored in its coal ash disposal ponds. In 2009, the plant sent 3.8 million pounds of toxins into the air. The E.C. Gaston plant is a significant contributor to poor air quality. The plant sucks water from Yellowleaf Creek to use to generate steam and cool the system. In fact, the intake pulls in so much water from the Coosa River that it now flows up Yellowleaf Creek to the intake. Only after periods of heavy rain does Yellowleaf Creek flow naturally to the Coosa River. The high volume of water being sucked into the plant also kills fish. One study found 6,235 fish of 16 species against the screen on the intake over the course of 25 days in a one-year period that sampling was conducted. Recent upgrades at the Gaston plant include cooling towers for a new operating unit. These cooling towers withdraw significantly less water from the river than the older cooling systems. The older generating units at the Gaston plant still use a once-through cooling system, which passes river water quickly through the system and then discharges it back to the river at much higher temperatures something we call thermal pollution. Then, there's the coal ash ponds. Alabama was recently ranked worst in the nation for coal ash disposal methods. Coal ash is disposed in coal ash ponds, many of which are unlined. These ponds contain a toxic stew of arsenic, cadmium, chromium, lead, mercury, radium, selenium, as well as polyaromatic hydrocarbons and radioactive compounds like uranium and thorium. Toxicity tests conducted in February 2008 showed only 65% of fathead minnows survived a short-term chronic screening test. These massive ponds must constantly be drained of excess water. Once the coal ash is theoretically settled out of the water, it is discharged back into the river. The water coming out of here isn't quite the same as the river water. From aerial patrols, Riverkeeper has been able to see the difference from the sky. Adding insult to injury, in a January 2011 Alabama Department of Environmental Management report, inspectors called Alabama Power employees illegally landfilling their household waste with the coal ash. Yet, the department took no action. Alabama Power has one other plant on the Coosa River in downtown Gadsden. The aging plant is considerably smaller than the plant in Wilsonville, but Riverkeeper is concerned about the dangers it poses. After the coal is burned, the coal ash is pumped through many pipes that rest unmonitored on the bottom of the riverbed across the river to the coal ash pond, which is over 45 years in age. The pond discharges its excess water to a pipe in a small inlet. The water here is different. Lots of algae and a different color. This discharge is only half a mile upstream of the drinking water intake for Gadsden Waterworks. These photographs from an aerial patrol of Gadsden conducted by Riverkeeper show just how close they really are. The outfall and the intake are also on the same bank of the river. How was this even allowed to happen? And what could this mean for the drinking water in Gadsden? On another level, Riverkeeper is concerned about the threat of a coal ash pond failure, like the one seen in Kingston, Tennessee. In Kingston, the failure of a coal ash pond dam in December 2008 caused 1.1 billion gallons of toxic coal ash slurry to spill illegally into the Clinch and Emory Rivers. Riverkeeper is concerned about coal ash ponds in Alabama because Alabama is the only state in the country that does not have dam safety legislation. Dam safety legislation would provide systems for monitoring dams like the ones that hold back coal ash waste and provide plans for emergency action in the event of a failure at a privately owned dam. In 2011, Coosa Riverkeeper and the Alabama chapter of the Sierra Club began a citizen study of these coal-fired power plants to determine what impacts they have on our river. 
Over the life of this project, Riverkeeper will conduct sampling at each plant as well as advocate on behalf of the river. We hope our work will lead to better protection of our most valuable natural resource, clean water. To learn more about our work fighting for swimmable, drinkable, fishable water on our Coosa River, visit coosariver.org. Support our work by becoming a member today.